Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, with the help of Pierce and Team Yell, uh, we got to Rose Tower, then fought our way up the tower. Our, we're not far from reaching Leon and Rose, but unfortunately, the secretary is in the way, so let's deal with her. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space, here nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you got through all the special staff that I have ordered to stop you. I'd expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because... I will not let anyone disturb the great Chairman Rose! You shall be the first, Donnie! If I beat you to pieces, then the Champion will have no one to battle and just lose heart. In that case, he will listen to everything the chairman has, everything the chairman says. Here we are, we're challenged by Microcosmos is Olivia, the mad secretary of Microcosmos. And she'll start out with Frost Glass. Be careful about this Frost Glass, because I remember it very well. This Frost Glass will attempt to inflict a status condition on you. I believe a uh, using will o -Wisp to burn you, and then we'll follow up with Hex. So, do, so this could be a very dangerous combination. I recommend taking out this Floss Glass as quickly as possible. So Alex, take the first shot. And it fainted. My, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt my partner. Milo Tech, I'm getting Alex out of there. Uh, yeah, I'll bring out Gleam. Oh, and of course, when I want to record, it starts raining. Hopefully the rain doesn't pick up, otherwise I'm going to have to cancel this recording. Milotech! I remember this Milotech is fairly tanky if I remember correctly. And it also does have a- well, it has that ability, so don't do something like I just did. Um, yeah, it has a lot of m good moves like Surf, so do be careful about this Milotech. And of course you miss Gleam. And she set up a safeguard, so now her Milotech and her team cannot be inflicted by status conditions. That Milotech is gone. Also, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, all of Olivia's Pokemon is female. So, if you have a Pokemon that knows a track coming into this battle, you can essentially attract all her Pokemon. Because I think every single Pokemon she has is a female. Slazzle! Bring in Hydro. Uh, the one thing I would say about Salazzle is that I believe it does have, uh, I forget the name of the move, but I think it's Venom Shock where it will do more damage when, when you're a poison, which I think this thing does no toxic. And also, uh, don't think you're safe from the toxic if you send out a Pokemon that's immune to poison, cause it's corrosion ability will say otherwise. Yeah, she tried to use Venom Shock, which I'm surprised she didn't try to poison me first. Bring it down with the strikes. Gleam leveled up. Wants to learn Discharge. I'll keep it from learning Discharge. Serene. S Serena? It's gonna bring out that. Let's bring out Ethan. Uh, I've used this Pokemon before once. Uh, it's when Pokemon Sun and Moon was new. Uh, uh, 
her strategy with this Pokemon is that it knows Trop Kick. Uh, like, uh, is it Trop Kick or Tropical Kick? Either or, uh, it will use that attack to try to damage you and also lower your uh, phys your physical attack. So it will try to um, hinder your physical attackers. Go for another blaze kick, Ethan. Down it goes. Queen is down. Ethan and Hydro level up. And the safeguard is gone. Now she's about to bring out her ace, uh, Guard Boulder. This is her ace, and I think you can guess what's coming up. So I'm gonna send in Violet. It's a risky play, but she's the most effective at bringing it down. This is my last Pokemon, seriously? Olivia's gotta finish this. Violet, time to Dynamax. Let's have your psychic power grow! I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. A Gigamat axe out at Rose Tower. That went by insanely fast. I didn't even press a button. But yeah, she brings out a giant heap of trash. Ash full of toys and dolls and all kinds of stuff. Violet, use your psychic powers to blow that trash away. And set up a psychic field, why don't you? Now let's watch this trash explode! That ain't going to the trash heap anytime soon. What a great way to get rid of trash. <sighs> I wasn't able to win. Olivia. You really are a hopeless woman. Ah! This is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would try to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do, do as you wish. There's nothing that can be done now. Typical, little Donnie. You and your Cinerace are unstoppable. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Leon, we need to discuss... Leon, we need to discuss this a hundred times already, already. And you still fail to understand what's at stake? You... Who's supposed to be our champion? I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought, ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from that, from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this, this madness. It's to carry out the championship match. That's what Galar wants, and what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to, to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretch out before us. And know that the energy require, required to keep this brilliant, glimmering world alive will be exhausted in a millennium from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. 
What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We need, we must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy, so that all can look forward or to a better future. In a thousand years. Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I'll give my word that I'll help you with your plans as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Lee. You never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had, ha had happened. Piers, Marlene, and all those Team Yell oddballs, they all helped us, uh, us out get to get here. I must apologize to, to you, Hop, if we made you worry at all. There are times where adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Donnie. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll grab all the grub dinner er, together. All the grub dinner? Gr gr grab dinner together? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> the grub dinner. <laughs> what a way to ruin a, a scene like this. <laughs> it's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. If you excuse us, Chairman Rose, I do hope you watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one for the history books. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We know. I'm going to change the course of history. The next evening. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your teams are the one battling, but I had butterfreeze in my stomach since I woke up. Challenger Donnie, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Raboom, I'll be happy to give you one. Wait, no, please! I'm not like those other League staff. I'm a good one. If I say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Olivia can be a little extreme in her desire to assist, to assist the chairman in his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of League staff in secret to deploy for... Well, things like that debacle last night. But you but you are no need to worry about today's staff. We're all here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we can trust her then, yeah, Donnie? Let's go, I can't wait another minute. Would you like me to show you the way to Windham Stadium? Why, of course. Then let's be on our way. And here we are back at Wyndham Stadium. In the next episode, we'll go and start the finals. I hope you enjoyed this. Do share the content if you like it, and I'll see you all later.